I'm Raquel Smith. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Palos Verdes, California, and I'm currently studying at San Francisco Ballet School. I want to be a classical ballet dancer, mostly because I kind of fell in love with the art at a very young age. I think it's just something I'm just really passionate about. I have five brothers and one sister. And are your parents into the art? Well, yeah, they've always supported my dreams and all of my siblings, actually. It's just anything that we wanted to do, they um, fully supported it. They just wanted us to be passionate about it and to really work hard at it. Can you talk to me a little bit about the experience of that audition? Yeah, just being in a class and with everyone that looked you know, the same, <laughs> um, it, and it wasn't just all white. Um, it really, I don't know, I feel like it brought something out of me that I didn't really know I had. Like, I felt a sense of awareness. It was, I don't know, it felt more empowering than anything. It just felt like uh, I'm not the only one, <laughs> for once. At the end of the audition, how many offers did you receive? <laughs> I think maybe six offers. And, and San Francisco Ballet was your first choice? It was. Can you tell me why it was your first choice? Um, well, San Francisco Ballet School is one of the top in the country, so I think that's one of the first things that attracted me to it. Not a lot of people have gotten, you know, scholarship offers like that. And I also knew that the only way to get into the school was through coming to the summer intensive first. So how did the summer intensive go? <laughs> the summer intensive went really well, actually. Um, the schedule during the summer was very similar to our year-round schedule. It was a really good experience. It was four weeks <laughs> of really intense training that, you know, I hadn't had prior. What level are you in here? I'm in level seven. How many levels are there? There are eight levels, I think. Did you feel prepared for this level of intensity? In some ways, I think I was more prepared um, just artistically coming into this. I knew that artistry was very important and just expressing everything um, starting in technique class. I think that's one very important thing that I learned early on. For Hadada, I hadn't really had any experience in that, other than just uh, going into shows, <laughs> not really knowing what I was doing. I feel like going to the summer intensive really prepared me for coming here year round. Being here has definitely helped my technique a lot, and I think it's going to continue to progress as the year goes on. But um, there's still a lot of things I need to work on. <laughs> the teachers I worked closely with, they're very proud of me. And they're just really excited. They knew that I kind of needed to get out of the small studio setting and into like real world of ballet training. What's it like to be away from home? Being away from home is hard, um, especially when you have you know, days where you're kind of down. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I just want to like go and hug my parents, but I can't. <laughs> but I know that a lot of my classmates are in the same situation where, you know, they're homesick too and they really just want to like talk to their parents and be with their parents and their families. But So it helps to have them to talk to about that. Um, I feel like I'm getting really close to all of my classmates and we're sort of becoming like family away from family. <laughs> Do you feel pressured because there's so few of you? In some ways, yes. <laughs> I feel a little bit of pressure 
um, I have to re represent a whole community. Yes and no. Yeah. You absolutely just represent yourself. Yeah. Like it yeah. feels that way, but it's not. It's not real. It's yeah. only as real as you make it. Yeah. If you're, you're a positive representation, it doesn't matter. But your your success belongs to you, and your failure belongs to you. And your success and failure will belong to a community as well. But that has nothing to do with yeah. you living your life. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you found a home here? At I, San I think Valley? I have. <laughs> I love it here. I think this is the happiest I've ever been, honestly. Just being able to wake up every day in a beautiful city. My room has a really pretty view of the city. <laughs> um, and to be surrounded by other people that are just really passionate about ballet. And to be able to just focus on what I love to do.